Hello world, welcome back to our channel. If you are into keeping your computer's performance at its peak, then today's video is just for you. We are diving deep into how a Windows security feature might secretly slow down your SSD speed. Stay tuned to find out more. Let's talk about BitLocker. It is like digital vault designed to secure your data by encrypting your drive. But here is the twist. Even though many SSDs offer hardware encryption, Windows often opts for its software solution. This choice comes with a cost. It can put an extra load on your processor, potentially dragging down your SSD's read and write speeds. Whether you're a gamer, a video editor, or just someone who cannot stand slow file transfers, this is crucial to know. Let's find out if BitLocker is affecting your SSD. Head to the search bar, type CMD, open the command prompt as an admin. Once reached there, type manage hyphen BDE. BDE stands for BitLocker Drive Encryption, hit space, hyphen, and status. Hit enter. This reveals if BitLocker is active on your drives. Just check for the encryption method and protection status. As you can see, BitLocker is active on my H drive. To turn it off, we will use another prompt. Simply type manage hyphen BDE space hyphen off space h colon remember to replace h colon with your drive letter when we hit enter it says the decryption is now in progress decryption might take a while it took about 20 minutes for me 20 minutes later once again i type manage hyphen bd space hyphen status to check either BitLocker is active. As you see on my H drive, the active BitLocker is now deactivated. Windows 10 users have it easier here. On the other hand, some Windows 11 versions might require a fresh install to resolve this issue. For that, visit the Microsoft website, download the ISO file for Windows 11. You can use the media creation tool, Apply these steps to move forward quickly to create an ISO file. Now Windows ISO file is ready. I use Rufus for creating a bootable USB stick. It is user friendly and efficient. Download it from its website. Now there is Rufus 4.3 version is available. So run this X file. I have already plugged in the USB and it recognized my USB automatically. Choose your downloaded ISO file and customize your Windows installation. When you hit start, it shows the Windows user experience menu to customize Windows installation. And you see there are some options like removing requirements for 4 GB plus RAM removing requirements for online Microsoft accounts and the latest one disable BitLocker automatic device encryption. Check those options like this and press OK. Just be aware this will erase all data on the USB. It starts to copy the required files from ISO to USB. When you see the ready, unplug it and use it on the related computer. Now there is a pro tip. To manage performance, consider using two SSD partitions, one with BitLocker for the system and one without BitLocker for personal data. This can help maintain speed for your most used files. And that's all on BitLocker and SSD performance. If you have anything to boost speed, drop them in the comments. Remember to hit like and subscribe for more tech insights and see you in the next video.